so what I did in this book was to organize this book in lessons, and not chapters, in lessons. And purposely because every single chapter is a standalone lesson. Now, there are some major lessons in there, and I've, I, there's almost 20 of them. But the overall intention here is to start reimagining this continent, to start seeing the role that Africa plays, to start realizing that everybody must get plugged in. If a continent only has 2% contribution to the global GDP, that's almost 98% opportunities for everybody. Now, in order to do this, I talk about several key issues. We look at the education system. We look at the healthcare system. We look at uh, the innovation of, you know, just basic innovations that are coming out of the continent. We look at uh, the role of women. We look at the role of the youth. We look at a lot of different aspects that need to be captured, need to be worked on, need to be nurtured for this continent to come from where it is to get to become a global player, to becoming a partner and no longer donor recipient because Africa should not be a donor recipient. It should be an equal contributing partner in discussion. Going back to 2011, when, the whole, the, when Europe was going through a financial crisis, guess who bailed out Portugal? Angola, the African country of Angola. Like I say, a lot of the things that are mentioned in this book are not necessarily captured in the mainstream media, but I find it to be very interesting nevertheless. So I think everybody should go and purchase this book, and I want us to create a conversation of how to reimagine this continent, how to empower the youth, what role can you play in making this happen so the global good can be achieved.